Let's remember what makes a password a good one or a safe one. First of all, number one, it, they need to be easy for you to remember. But second of all, they need to be hard to guess or for a machine or an algorithm to crack. To keep your password safe, you must never share it. And also, you must make your password long. The longer it is, the harder it is to guess. And last of all, you must have multiple passwords. So let's have a look at some examples that just don't work. If we look at this example here, two dice, if we look at it, it's too short. It has no capital letters. It has no numerical um, digits in there and it has no special characters. So we can um, revise that and we can put a two in and a capital D and an exclamation mark to substitute for a letter. So we make the criteria of having um, a numeric, a capital letter and a special character, but we've in fact shortened the entire password. So we're on the right tracks, but we need to make this more complex. And this is where the special characters come in. Take a really good look around your keyboard. Everybody knows the top row. On the top row um, is above one and two. We've got the exclamation mark and the at. Then we've got the pound sign or the hash, dollar, percentage. And then we've got the uh, upwards arrow there, the ampersand and the asterisk. You all know those. But take an even better look around just along um, past uh, eight and nine and zero. We've got open and close brackets. Then we've got underscore and hyphen. But we've also got, if you look here, we've got the vertical bar. We've also got the curly brackets, the square brackets, and we've got forward slash and backslash. And then of course we've got greater than and less than. All of those can be used in combination in our passwords to actually help us make more complex passwords. But adding these in can make our passwords really difficult to remember. So there's a trick that we can do we can use our special characters to actually create images in our password that are going to make life easy for us to remember. So let's come back to that two dice example. So two capital D exclamation mark CE is not going to pass. However, if we make a picture of a dice using a um, open bracket and the colon and a closed square bracket and do that twice, we've made a picture of two dice showing um, two on the face. Then we can use the vertical bar and the closed bracket to make a D. Then we can use the I, ordinary letter I, capital C and a three. And we've not only lengthened our password, we've made it way, way more complex, but easy to remember, two dice. We've now used the special characters to represent in combination different letters. If you look carefully here, I've used the vertical bar, the hyphen key combined to make a T. Then I've used the backslash and forward slash twice together to make a W. I've used opened and closed brackets to make the O. And I've used the vertical line and the closed brackets to make a D. And I've substituted, you know, the I, the capital C, and the three to meet my criteria and my password is even longer and therefore more complex. So let's have a look at some of these other combinations of letters. We can use the special characters to use the um, open and closed curved brackets or the open and closed square brackets to make an O. We can use, as I've already illustrated, the forward slash and the backslash in combination to make a V or a W. To make a D, we can use the um, vertical bar and the curved bracket or the vertical bar and the um, square bracket, closed square bracket. We can make an H with a vertical bar hyphen and a vertical bar. We can make a T as already illustrated. We can make a K with a vertical bar and the less than icon. And even the open bracket, we can make into a C. So you can see that we can make some really good examples of passwords using images in your mind's eye of what your password represents.